We oh. do not have a player interview for you this week. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those who didn't click out of the video, the show can start. Oh, he meant to do the pause. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought we practiced this. I thought you just forgot what you were going to say. Last Wednesday, 343 lifted the embargo on Arena multiplayer for Halo 5, and we didn't really see much that we haven't already known. Yeah. Um, I was expecting to get full, like, walkthroughs of maps. Uh, we haven't really seen and stuff like that and we didn't really get that much out of it and it was kind of like I was really excited for this embargo to be lifted and then it was kind of disappointing in the end yeah so um, we saw a little bit of a um, video we saw a few videos from like youtubers playing arena um, where they played on fathom and um, a couple other maps but uh, it was a um, kind of a little interesting piece what should I show more maps of yeah. I'm tired of seeing like the same maps and like all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I was really hoping that we'd see like I just I'm just waiting for like this uh like this like bomb to get dropped on us like lockout remade. <laughs> they won't do that. Like you know, like something like that. I'm waiting for something exciting to come out of it. Yeah, it won't be lockout. And there's nothing like I mean I am excited for Halo 5, but I feel I'm I'm hoping they're holding something back. Yeah. Don't you, don't you feel like they, they you want yeah, them to just drop? I, I, I do, but I couldn't see them remaking any older Halo map or... Well, fire. not like, you know, in completely the remade the way it was, just like a, a map inspired by Lockout okay, or yeah. something. Yeah. The maps, um, <laughs> they kind of all have like the same palette. They can look, they have like the UNSC theme, but then yeah, again... similar. Um, there's actually a lot of maps that don't have uh, that UNSC, UNSC theme, like uh, Regret and Truth and um, a couple others. All right, Truth is kind of like an inspired map. Yeah, it is. It's a remake yeah. of Midship. Yeah. <clears throat> I like that map. That was fun to play. Yeah, so I yeah. guess they could remake Lockout if they wanted to. It doesn't oh, make no, it bigger. Lockout, yeah, they just make everything bigger. Yeah, yeah but with Lockout, you, though, like, all the clamber It'll be fun, though, on Lockout. I'm still waiting, like, uh, on 3 for 3 to just um, drop something on us that's going to, like, blow us away or something. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Well, Ryan said they have stuff coming in October. Who's Ryan? <laughs> what? We were doing the wrong interview last week. Oh, Ryan Noob. <laughs> can't just say Ryan. I don't, why do you need you to say Ryan Noob? Yeah. You know somebody in Portland? I don't know. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> uh, before the embargo lifted, they had a uh, little blog post about how CTF will work in Halo 5. And that's kind of important to the HCS because that's, CTF is a big part of the HCS. Yeah. So they have flag spotting. We and uh, it's kind of a new mechanic. Yeah, I mean it's it's okay. I I don't mind that. I think it's good. I mean it's like it's because your your player like your teammate has to see him. Like it's not like they pick up the flag and you automatically know where he's at. It's a, a mechanic built more for uh, matchmaking for the uh, when you go in with randoms and they don't communicate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's say your team's not talking at all. And uh, so they're not going to say, hey, the flag's over here. Yeah. But if you put a shot on the flag carrier, it marks them for yeah. everybody to see. So you don't have to communicate. I feel like I shouldn't be on HCS. <sighs> yeah, I feel like uh, there is a lot of features that are going to be in default Halo 5 that I think should be disabled for uh, HCS tournaments. Yeah. Spartan Chatter being one of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that should be de like disabled for yeah. HCS tournaments. For CTF, for instance, I feel like you should be able to clamber with flag. Okay, yeah, well let's talk about that. <laughs> you can still clamber with the flag, <laughs> yeah. you can thrust but... with the flag, you can't run with the flag, yeah. and you have a pistol. Yeah, I feel like you shouldn't be able to thrust or clamber. I do too. I agree with clambering and thrusting with but the But clambering can you get you... should not be able to do that, but... but clambering can get you killed sometimes when you're walking on someone can easily kill you. You can't say that, oh, just because he's carrying a flag now, he can't do all the abilities that he should be able to do. I mean, he's a Spartan. Yeah, he, I just, guess. He's carrying a flag. Why can't he thrust or clamber? So yeah, what? I guess. But then it is kind of awkward. I mean, I, I see like how it would be awkward. you got a flag in hand, a pistol in one hand, you're still able to clamber. Yeah. 
I mean, <laughs> what do you? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, he grabbed him out with his teeth or something. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, a CTF uh, is a little bit different, and we see that um, it's kind of a lot of um, gameplay that I saw with CTF, but it always ends up being a standoff. Mm-hmm. Uh, one team has the flag at their base, the other team has the flag at their base, and they're yeah. just kind of standing waiting, off, right, right. kind of waiting. waiting yeah. Hillary so drops a flag. Yeah, I mean, it's going to play a lot different yeah. than any other Halo CTF we've ever seen. And mm-hmm. I mean, those standoff situations... Could be pretty exciting, I think. Yeah, it's really competitive. I don't know how it's going to work in HGS, if they're going to keep it in the HGS. We don't know. I know 343 is wanting to keep uh, Arena and HGS as close together as possible. They don't want to separate the two with different settings. That being said, uh, what are they going to do with Radar? Um, is Because uh, Radar is in Arena. Um, well, and obviously, they're not going to want it in HGS. Will Arena have an ACS dedicated playlist with separate settings. I mean, it has to. It has to. So it has to be separated in some way. We talked about CTF because it's a big part of uh, uh, HES. Um, We're curious to know, I don't know, I'm curious to know uh, if Breakout is going to be in the HES as a game type in rotation. It should. I think Mm. it will be. I think it will. Well, because that's a really skilled game, like, Four v four, one dies. Like. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I I mean, I I kind of like Breakout, but I kind of don't because I feel like it goes a little bit too far away from what makes Halo Halo. Yeah. I feel like they need to bring the shields back uh, to full shields, and then maybe it would uh, be a little bit more like. I feel like they're. Uh, it is a game type, but I feel like the game types being adjusted too much. With too many different settings, <clears throat> if you know what I mean, it's yeah. hard to explain. But I'm saying, like, you have a, two good teams battling out. It's gonna be good to watch because, like, yeah, it would, it could be. You have to be really, you have to play really, smart. Really slow. Yeah, it I could mean, it really could be slow. really campy. Yeah. It could be really exciting. You don't know until we see it. So, um, and they showed a, a new breakout map recently, um, and then they also showed that they added a. A neutral flag in mm-hmm. the breakout, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, but what we saw is it barely gets touched. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think people die for it. Um, I mean, the neutral flag is kind of just like a, I don't know. I mean, it, I guess it could be captured in certain situations, but mm-hmm. most of the time it's kind of yeah, just there. I think there. if you go in the middle, you're dead. Yeah, yeah. You're really I dead. mean, it, maybe the there will be more strategy come out of it later whenever people get their hands on it, and they'll figure out how to get the flag. <clears throat> captured, so uh, maybe the flag will play more of a role in breakout. I, I don't feel like it's necessary to even have it. Um, yeah. It's there to prevent teams from camping, I think. Yeah, but like... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like anybody's going to make plans like, let's get this flag. It's just a second <laughs> objective. I mean, I have, I did see a YouTube video of a guy that was down like two to one players, and he did sneak around and capture the flag and win the game. Oh, win the round. Man. It does happen. Yeah. But it's very rare. All right, and now we're going to switch over to our next segment, and it is Twitter Chatter. <laughs> All right, okay, on Twitter Chatter today, we're going to talk about how cool the HES account is, the HES Twitter account, that is. Mm-hmm. And um, they tweeted out a little Kappa face when somebody mm-hmm. mentioned the uh, Suddeth 1 and Suddeth 2 were their favorite HES players. And I just thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Are they even competing for a fight? Um, I think so. They're always like up in the air, like I'm going to retire or I'm going to play. I don't know. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't play, I don't see mm-hmm. them talk anything of Halo. It's always Destiny. Mm, yeah, well, Halo's kind of, yeah, and it's not happening right now. But yeah, I thought that was hilarious. I mean, shout out to whoever's running the HS Twitter. No <laughs> one knows. That? Didn't they come with that? They yeah, no one yeah. knows who's running it, and that's the funny part because whoever's running it is, is hilarious, <laughs> and they are doing an awesome job at running the Twitter account. So we should, uh, you know, keep an eye on their Twitter. Make mm-hmm. sure you know you uh, follow the HS Twitter so you can see their funny post or their serious post. Yeah, I love their uh, Throwback Thursday post, and they uh, post a lot of HS stuff on there. So yeah, the last Throwback was good. <clears throat> that video. The one where they threw the plasma grenade and shot the rocket launcher towards them in Halo 5? No. No, that was one like, was cool, though. It was... <laughs> <laughs> it's the one with... The, it was, uh... I haven't seen with CLG at the time. Yeah. They kept going back and forth. They kept tying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the uh, Noble Black 
series. Noble Black. And like, CLG. And CLG. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that one was cool. Okay, um, now we are going to introduce you guys to the newest segment of HES Now show, and it is called The Rumor Mill. And you like that little graphic there because it's a play on words, because we're going to show a picture of a meal that you eat and not, you know, I mean, I it's spelled it right. Yeah. <laughs> this this you're going to do it in editing. <laughs> you just came with this right <laughs> now. No, I have this in my head. We're going to show a picture of an actual meal of like food, but oh, okay. rumor meal. Okay. Okay. Now you get it. Yeah. Even though it's spelled differently, it's play on words, you know, guys? Come on. Anyways, the rumor mill optic maniac. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't. Got a little tipsy on Grandpa's cough syrup, <laughs> <laughs> and was on stream with Kilo. none other than Optic Formal. Optic Formal, he was there. He yeah, was and he was tearing it up. Yeah, he was good. And uh, so. he made his slipped a little intel about mm -hmm. Optic Formal um, coming back to Halo, and he. Possibly has a team. Mm -hmm. Didn't say. I don't think he said. A lot of this new probably he's come back anyway. Somebody said in the chat. The he said APG Heinz and Pistola. Well, that's, that's been squad in, right? yeah, that's, that's been rumored squad, yeah. for but a long time. Once, once they said that in chat, he read it and he goes, "Oh shit, Intel." Mm. Who said that? Mania. Oh really? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll have to see. Um, he was, he might be trolling us. He could. You he know, could I mean, if I was drunk on stream, I'd just be like <laughs> saying all kinds of stupid stuff and I didn't care about the next day, but he yeah. might. But, uh, that would be interesting if Formal does come back because he is huge in, uh, esports right now and the following that he'd bring to Halo. He should. If, if he comes back, he's mm -hmm. gonna... Dominate? He's gonna dominate. Yeah, I think he's gonna be good. He's gonna be really good. I mean, he literally just plays second a COD tourney. Hopped on Halo the next night and was ripping faces. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, cool. the guy's unbelievable. Uh, I think he should come back though. It'd be. I mean, it's it's all about uh you know money and um, scheduling for yeah. them. I think. Like previous episode, we said like it's hard to do both. I think he could do both. Yeah. Well, if both like, are easy to him. Why not? Yeah, I think he could do both. Okay. Yeah. Oh well, we'll see when it happens. Uh, hope I, I think they should be announcing something soon. I mean, Halo's what a couple weeks away, so a month away now, ain't it? Yeah, no. it's not three weeks, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's it for the rumor mill. Uh, if you guys got some rumors you want to talk about, hit us up at HCS underscore now um, on Twitter. Yeah. Well, even if people want to clear up rumors, yeah, we have to clear like up rumors, rumors about this. Squash person. the rumors, yeah. start a rumor. I don't care. <laughs> but anyways. I have something to ask everybody. Where the hell is Pistola? He hasn't tweeted <laughs> since August 2nd. He's literally like a wizard. Like, I know why. It's not. They don't call him the wizard because he is Halo. He just disappears <laughs> like Gandalf and then shows back up whenever the hell everybody's about to die and saves the day. You know, he just plans the next move. Yeah. Wait, I mean, it's. Wait for the right moment. I, he just. No one has even noticed that he's gone. I mean, I haven't heard anybody like he hasn't even tweeted in like three months. He it's probably weird. don't want to be pressured. He could about be his bedroom going. right now. Oh, uh, on Halo. If you're alive, like, <laughs> let us know. We're worried. <laughs> so we are going to announce to this week's player of the week. Um, and like I said before, player of the week can be an HGS player. That has done anything from made a funny YouTube video, cool tweet, or funny tweet, or any kind of accomplishment outside the game or in the game. We honor them for being player of the week. Mm -hmm. So this week, we are going to honor Liquid Ninja because... The H1Z1 winning. He won an H1Z1 <laughs> tournament for, what, you won $20,000? $20,000. And... That is pretty cool because um, H1Z1's got a pretty big following, and like, and it's like we've said it before with other players, when these Halo pros go outside of Halo and get popular in a different game or on YouTube, they're helping Halo in a way that we don't see right off the bat. Oh, like yeah. when Halo Five starts, all these players with these fan bases are gonna go back to Halo Five. Their fan bases are gonna come with them. I think we're gonna see some big numbers with Halo Five. So do I. I feel like. 
Especially people from like Ninja and even Maniacs got to get a Yeah, decent. Maniac blew up. And Flame Nated Ford, blew up. Nated blew up real big. Yeah, yeah Nated went like, uh, he just exploded out of Halo 2 Anniversary, which would be really hard to do because, I mean, we weren't... Um, H2A was like getting 15k views on the tournament sometimes. So yeah. I mean, getting a fan base like that out of a game that was broken and didn't have a lot of viewership, mm. that'd be hard to do. Yeah, but, but Ninja I had to mint him for grinding on H1Z1. Dude, he grinded, he grinded it. That, that game looks thing. super fun, and I've never played it, and I really want to play it. Yeah. I really want to get into it, but it looks also really hard to shoot. Like I mean, the yeah. aiming is hard in that game. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, Ninja's just uh, kind of like a, a game a lot, though. Yeah, he's good at just about everything he touches. Mm -hmm. Ninja, he's just a good gamer. And then it shows because H1Z1 is like super hard to win. Mm -hmm. Like, super hard. Uh, you, you got to, what are you going against? 140, 150 people, something mm -hmm. like that? So, shout out to Liquid Ninja. You are our player of the week. And if you guys want to vote for next episode's player of the week, we are on Twitter at HCS underscore now and let us know who do you think should be player of the week. That's going to do it for this week's episode of HCS now. Um, hopefully next week's episode will be just as good as this one. Well, hope there's more news to talk about though. Yeah, 343, pl <laughs> please give us something to talk about. We're oh. so begging you. <laughs> we need something. We're like... I mean, it's hard to do I'm so yeah. thirsty, oh, and you're like a giant glass of water right now. <laughs> we're running out of material. Yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> I can talk about a lot of stuff. Like, these I don't, fruit flies in here. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. But, anyways, tune in next week, and we will have another episode. See you guys. Oh, well,